All right, problem three is, of course, the uh, final scene of the first Star Wars movie, um, which I assume you've all seen since you're, you know, well, I don't know, unless your parents are just depriving you horribly. Uh, so anyway, this here is, uh, I'm going to do it in black, but whatever. This is uh, Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Starfighter. He is flying at a speed of 160 meters per second horizontally over the floor of this trench in the Empire's Death Star, which is perfectly flat, as you can see from what I just drew. So um, what he does then is he fires his proton torpedoes um, at, not photon torpedoes, that's Star Trek, proton torpedoes. Very different, obviously. Uh, and these have a speed of 240 meters per second initially relative to Luke's Starfighter. So uh, the actual speed of them relative to the Death Star Trench is 160 plus 240. And so they're initially launched at 400 meters per second. And that's really the only uh, v not x equals that. That's really the great handwriting. Um, that's really the only way in which relative motion comes into this problem. And so we have to figure out, uh, basically, if Luke has to hit this this trench, which is, uh, how do, what did I say, six meters below, or he has to hit the exhaust port, which is on the floor of the trench, which is six meters down, then how far away from the uh, exhaust port does he have to be? And so the answer is... Um, well, is they just they just fall like uh, it's like projectile motion. The only difference here is that uh, g for the Death Star is half the gravity on our surface, and I'm going to say it's 5.0 meters per second because, like I said, awesome people use 10 for g. Okay, so um, we have to figure out how far this needs to be. So let's just say this is you know they got to fall six meters. So delta y. So first we're going to figure out how long it takes, right? Okay, so delta y is negative 6 meters, and delta y is going to be vy naught times t plus 1 half acceleration in the y direction times t squared. Uh, we know vy naught is 0, and acceleration in the y direction is negative uh, 5.0. So very easily that gets us then that... Um, my god, this is like horrible. Okay, delta y is negative 6 equals uh, 1 half times negative 5 times t squared, which means t squared equals, come on, Smith, you can do it, uh, 1.2, 2.4. .2 and I can't take the square root of 2.4 in my head, even I am not that awesome, so let's get out the stupid little calculator. And, uh, how do you use this thing? 2.4 and then square root? Yeah, okay. So 1.549 seconds. Okay. So t, ah, t equals 1.549 seconds. And I know I'm writing all over the place. And so these guys travel at a constant velocity in the x direction, right? So no big deal there, right? So we just say uh, the, how far they travel in the x direction is their x velocity times the time. x, that's an x, times the time. So uh, that ends up being that number this time here times 400. And did I just really just kill the calculator? Stupid. All right. So 2.4 square root. OK, and then let's multiply by 400. And that gets us the answer, which is 620-ish meters. OK, so I'm just going to rounded 620. So so Luke has to launch the torpedo when he is 620 meters away. Okay, now the bonus for Star Wars geeks, um, General Dodonna, who's that guy in robes uh, with the beard in the briefing scene, says, uh, you know, oh, the target area is only two meters wide. He doesn't sound like that at all. Um, so how much, really what I mean is how much time, how big is the window of time during which Luke can fire his torpedoes and hit the thing? So I'm saying, look, it's two meters that way, right? Okay, and Luke basically has to hit it. Okay, so imagine at one point he fires the torpedoes. Uh, if he fires them then, they'll just hit the front of this thing, right? And then his spaceship moves two meters, and if he fires them just then, after it moves two meters, they'll hit the back of it, right? So really, you just have to find how much time it takes for the X-Wing to go two meters. So delta T, which I'm going to say is the amount of time Luke has to fire, 
uh, times the velocity of the x-wing is the horizontal window he has. This is a different delta x from here, okay? So is the is the horizontal width of the of the thing. So that means then uh, 160, okay, times t equals uh, two, right? Two meters, okay. So that means t equals uh, one over 80, which means t equals 0 0.01. I'm not doing this right. Yes, yeah, 0, 1, 2, 5 seconds. So that's how precise Luke needs to be pulling the trigger. And that's why, you know, he either have to use a computer to do it or you use the force like Luke did. Because there's no way normal human reflexes can time things down that precisely. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, that's problem three.